I've got something I've been contemplating today, something I've been feeling into. This is not a new something, and it's not a me something. It's not something I came up with that's ludicrous. There is nothing that I have come up with. All of it has already existed for countless millennia. It's all the same information, the same questions and the same answers that the same self has been asking and answering itself since the start of all of this. But I'm curious, really curious, and really, and I come back to this all the time, I'm just more and more curious about seriousness. Seriousness. It really seems to me, and obviously not just to me, because this is the teaching of so many spiritual guides, and I'm thinking of Osho in particular at this moment, but also Eckhart Tolle, who has agreed, said nothing is serious, everything is sacred. Osho is saying seriousness is illness, seriousness is not spiritual. Spirituality is laughter, it's joy. Life is a joke, God is always joking, look around and all you will see are jokes and jokes and jokes. And thinking of the divine comedy and all of that, and it seems more and more to me that seriousness, seriousness is the root of suffering. I know it's supposed to be attachment, or it's said to be attachment, and I'm not going to argue with that. I don't think that's wrong. I'm not saying that. I understand where that comes from, but I also know that the teachings of Buddha are intended to kind of warp your mind, and they're not really what they are at first appearance. It's things that, if you take them at face value, and this is true, again, for <laughs> most spiritual teaching, if you sort of just take it at face value, it can lead you down this rigid path that is not really where it's pointing. It might be leading you down that path so you actually start asking questions and going, hey, you know what, this doesn't feel right. And then when you start questioning this path that you've taken, you start to see that the questioning was what you were meant to do all along. That in fact, you were making things too serious. You were taking things seriously, and you were thinking that the answers lie outside of yourself. You were thinking that you were not, in fact, already in this moment enlightened, when in fact, already in this moment, you are. And you were never lacking anything. You were never missing any piece of information. You were never unable to access the truth of your being and the bliss of existence. It's all right there, and it's there when we stop seeking, when we stop searching, when we give up the search. And we realize we're never going to find it if we think we're going to find it out there and we have to look for it. You find it when it's found. You find it when you realize it's here. When you stop looking. When you stop seeking what you were seeking is discovered, is revealed to be right there all along. And I just keep coming back to this notion of seriousness. To me, it seems that seriousness is the root of suffering because it's your suffering that wants you to take it seriously. And in your taking it seriously, you suffer. But if in your suffering, you can realize what's happening and you can find a way to stop making it serious, to stop making it a big deal, to stop making it seem like it matters. It's not something that matters. It doesn't mean anything. It's not serious. Then you realize in the midst of this thing that was your suffering that suddenly it's kind of just okay. It's actually all all right because in fact there is nothing serious happening here. There's nothing really going on. And when you're stopping the whole making of things serious, you stop judging them as good and bad. See, that's roped in with it. All of this stuff about judgment, too. Judgment creating resistance, resistance creating suffering. If you just stop taking things seriously, then the judgment kind of falls away with it. Because if it doesn't matter, if you see there's nothing serious going on here, and by the end of this ramble, that word is going to sound pretty meaningless. If you see there's nothing serious going on here, then what's it matter if it's good or bad? There is no such thing. You stop having that sort of reactivity. 
if you're looking around and you go, oh, this is fine. It's fine. It's not bad. Maybe I like it a little more. Maybe I like it a little less. It's not good. It's not bad. It's what is. And now I can appreciate it in a whole new way, actually. I can experience the goodness of its being, not the goodness of what it's being. And when I am experiencing the goodness purely of its being, there's nothing that can contradict that. There's nothing that can be not good. Because being is now perceived as a good thing. And everything bees. So everything is good. That's it. And it seems like all of this is accessed just a lot more easily when my attitude about all of life and everything that is and is happening is not serious. If it's not serious, then I can play with it. I can play with my perspective. I can experiment. I can get curious. I can try things on. I can taste the flavor of it a little more fully. I'm giving myself permission to experience more fully because it's not serious. It's not a big deal. We're just checking things out. We're sniffing around. We're trying things. That's all. And I notice that I only start to feel not so great when I take things seriously. I noticed today that I had I have a triggered reaction to words that imply seriousness. Words like professionalism, words like responsibility, words like that, that have that weight to them, that gravity you know, that you should take this serious. You should, first of all, implying that there's something you should or shouldn't do, that you could be doing it wrong. That if you're not doing it this way, you're doing it wrong. And if you're not doing it this way, what's this way? This way is serious. If you're not being serious, you should be serious. That's what ego loves, first of all. It love, 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 loves serious. That's where the drama lives. There's no drama without making things serious. That's pretty obvious, isn't it? That's what drama is. It's a big deal. (laughs) It's serious business. It's woe is me and just the tragedy and all of that. It's got to be serious to be drama. And that's, that's where ego thrives. And in fact, I noticed that ego was reacting interestingly, to the sort of suggestion of seriousness that that might be something that I should put on. And what was happening, and this is a little hard to put into words, I was having, not directly, but th- this notion of seriousness projected upon me, right? And ego perceived that as a sort of threat. And what that means is, it was taking that projection seriously. (laughs) If somebody says something about you, or says something about the way they think you should be, or the way they think the world is, or whatever, and it doesn't feel good to you, and you feel this triggered response of sort of anger, or anxiety, or defensiveness, or whatever it is, what that means is you're taking it seriously. You're taking what this person said, whether it's about you or the world, seriously. (laughs) And if you just stop doing that, if you just don't, if you just listen to it and go, okay, sure. And you don't, (laughs) I don't know a better way to even phrase it other than take it seriously. You don't make it a big deal. You don't take it on. You don't add that to your narrative. You don't take that on as your opinion or your belief. You don't take it as true. You just go, okay, sure. Then it's not serious. It's not a big deal. It doesn't feel like a threat. And you can just let that go. And so what I was seeing was that ego was perceiving the projection of seriousness or the suggestion of it 
as something serious. And that's why it felt threatened. But when I, I just stopped taking that projection seriously, the perception, the feeling of threat went away, actually, pretty immediately. And so that's, that's what the mind wants you to do. Hi, buddy. Just turn on a light. Hi. Grab a cat. And just stop taking things so fucking serious. Ego wants you to. The mind wants you to. It wants to make things a big deal. It loves that drama. It thrives on it. But the key is not in resisting, because that's what it wants too, and what I was noticing. If I am fighting this projection of seriousness, that the world is a heavy, dangerous place, and that I've got to take it seriously, anything like that, because I can feel the resistance to that, because I don't believe that's true. But if I am secure in my belief, then I'm not resisting that notion. I'm just not believing it, right? I'm not taking it on. I'm not permitting it to influence me. So it's rather than resisting seriousness, it's just not taking it on. It's not taking seriousness seriously. Oh, I can't make this stand. I'll put it here. Can I do that? There we go. It's just not taking that as what it's trying to be. It's not permitting it to influence your perception. So this projection of seriousness Uh, this matters, this is a big deal. It's just not making that a big deal. It's, it's saying that doesn't matter. It's saying, I hear you, I accept that this exists, but I am not, I'm not playing along with it. I am not taking this on as a part of my narrative, as a part of my belief structure, as a part of my perception of existence. Seriousness is anathema. <laughs> but even saying that, such a word, anathema, is, is making it serious, right? So it's really just seeing that it's an illusion. It's an illusion. It is the reality killer. It's the truth killer. But even that's not a big deal. Because all it ever takes is remembering that. And then laughing again, smiling again. Ah, uh, I got pulled in. I got pulled in again by the joke of seriousness. And what a big fucking joke it is. The biggest joke of all is <sighs> it's seriousness. Reality is absurd. It's hysterical, truly. It is just joy and laughter and comedy and love and play all of the time and the biggest joke in a reality like that is <laughs> is the weight of something serious <laughs> that's pretty goofy that's pretty fucking silly and I like that and I can perceive that I can perceive seriousness as the silliest thing of all the most ridiculous role that any of us could possibly play is in taking anything in this existence as serious. <laughs> so I like that. And I absolutely, of course, obviously include in that the self. Taking the self seriously that's a joke. 
that always and only ever is is the sign of of ego and feeding ego if something is serious if this is a big deal and damn it we better take it seriously that's that's all ego one thousand percent the soul is never serious never 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 ever ever not for one fucking second it's joking it's laughing it's playing it's having a grand fucking time nothing's a big deal Nothing really matters, not the way that we make it out to. Nothing has the meaning that we think it does. All this moral weight, it's not there. It doesn't exist. Nothing is serious. And when I realize that, when I hold myself in that place and that awareness and that perspective, I feel the truth of existence. It all opens up. It becomes so much lighter. It's like I see the whole world winking at me, going, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You got it. You see that this was all, you, you figured it out. You're in on the joke now. Reality is not so funny when you're not in on the joke. When you are, it's punchline after punchline. It's one continuous, never ending punchline. It just keeps rolling. It's just, everything is goofing and playing around. So, note to myself, note to self, self, when I am experiencing what feels like the projection of seriousness upon my being, and I notice the reaction of ego to that, the rejection of that projection is actually ego taking it seriously. And the way around that is to see what's happening and just pff, deflate it, diffuse it, see that none of it is a big deal. There is no seriousness. Smile, laugh, don't accept the influence of serious. Don't take serious on as a mantle, as a role, as a part of identity, as a part of perception. Just leave seriousness out of it. That's a distortion. That's an illusion. That's never truth. But it points to the truth which is the opposite of that. Play, fun, freedom, exhilaration, that feeling of endless summer, of a bike outside in the sun, and just the open road before you. A full day, a full summer, endless, no sense of time, nowhere to be, at a certain time, but everything unfolding before you, all kinds of places you want to explore, but no deadlines. No boundaries, no borders. Just you and fun. That's what the world is. That is what it is. Not just what it's meant to be, that's what it is. That's what it's always been. It's the only thing it can be. It's all that it is. It's fun. It's smiling, it's giggling. It's tickling and blowing kisses and doing a sexy little dance all the time. That's all the universe ever is. And when I connect to that, I feel the truth of that. It's so obvious. And everything feels lighter. It's like all of the burden is lifted. Nothing matters. It's safe. The only goal is exploration. That's it. And I can't get it wrong. There's no way to mess it up. There's no way to screw anything up. There's no way to harm anything. There's no way to die. It's like playing a game. It's like playing a game where you can't die. There's no health bar. There's no experience points. There's no enemies. There's not even any puzzles, really. It's just exploring. It's just what's over there. This big open world endless map, and I get to explore. It's full of secrets, full of fun things to discover, full of things for me to 
pick up and play with and put together. And that's it. No quests, no checkpoints, no save points, no storyline. <laughs> Maybe stuff that I make up as I go. Come here. But all the stuff I make up, I can always just put back down. I can forget it. Because it was just made up to begin with. Nothing serious. Just play, role-playing, exploring, adventuring. And all for the fun of it. No other goals. No expectations. No rules, no boundaries. No limits. Just freedom and fun. <laughs> That's it. That's it. There's nothing serious happening. Not a single thing. And you can't get it wrong. Because all of it is just right. Always. And any perception aside from that is just a distortion. If it feels serious, it's false. It's all really, really good. I can feel ego wanting to resist that, of course, because it lives on drama. That's okay. I don't have to take ego seriously. I can just let it play. That's it. Have fun.